This is arguably the most sought after set from the Wolverine 50th Anniversary 2 packs. Find out why in this week's review of Marvel Legends Wolverine 50th Anniversary, Logan vs. Sabretooth. Victor Creed, aka Sabretooth, and Logan, aka Wolverine, have been mortal enemies for centuries. You mean in the before time? In the long, long ago? Sabretooth resents Wolverine for suppressing his feral instincts and torments him obsessively. Ah! My eyes! Not sure if he misses the time they spent in the Weapon X program, or if Wolverine wronged him and just forgot. Whoa, whoa, big guy. But you're probably never even going to see him again. Articulation, bruh. All right, we'll start off with Cowboy Logan here. Heads on a ball and hinge, allowing him to look up. Bury the chin into that hairy chest. He can swivel side to side burns. And not a lot of tilt. The upper torso does mess up those buttons, but there is a decent amount of tilt. You can go back a little bit and crunch forward just a little bit more. There's also rotation down by the waist there, so if you did want to keep that sculpt intact, you can. Arms rotate all the way around. There's a bicep swivel. A pinless double jointed elbow with a bigger gap than the one in my resume. Arms ball and hinge all the way up. Hands do rotate and hinge the correct weapon wielding way. As for the other hand, it is noticeably larger, but does hinge down and up. I don't have a protractor, but his leg kicks up about 90 degrees. Out, not as well. He's not going to be riding a horse with that. There's an upper thigh swivel, a pinned double jointed knee. No boot, but there is a shoe swivel. The feet do hinge all the way down if you get it under that pant leg. Up, not as much, and then rocks like an Australian playing a Canadian while the rest of the world thinks he's American. I know who I am! I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude! Sabretooth's head's on a ball on hinge, and if you just look inside there, there is that pink piece. That is just the additional mouth sculpt that they just pop right in there. And speaking of popping, let's pop that head sculpt back on. With that fur piece, you are limited, the left to right and the up movement. But you can bury the chin all the way down. And there's not a lot of tilt. The app crunches forward a good amount. And when you crunch back, the sculpt does continue through, giving him like a six pack. There's also a waist swivel. Arms rotate all the way around. There's a bicep swivel. We've got some butterfly joints going forward and backwards. Neither one is hindered by that fur. And you can see even that cap at the back of the butterfly joint there does disappear quite nicely into the torso. We get a pinless double jointed elbow. Arms ball and hinge almost straight out. Hands rotate, hinging all the way up, but not all the way down. His front kick is pretty good for a big guy getting way up there out a decent amount. There's an upper thigh swivel, it does break up the sculpt. A pin double jointed knee. There's no calf swivel, feet hinge all the way down, all the way up, and rocks like his favorite Power Ranger. Save it to Tiger! Accessories! Does this purse go with my bra bra? Logan comes with a right card holding hand with a vertical hinge, and a left kind of relaxed, kind of has arthritis hand. And he also comes with a set of clawed fisted hands. The Xavier playing cards scale nicely and have a clean paint job. Sculpted in a way where Logan can be looking and showing his cards. I'll stay. Granted, Logan is a stoic character, but can we stop with the neutral expressions? With all the different head sculpts and all the different two packs featuring Wolverine, I'm okay with Hasbro taking a stab at a smiling or a smirking expression. But can we get some consistency in the headwear? Not only are the hats different colors, but they're also different styles. It's comical that Logan's been around this long and has such an obvious poker toe. As much as I like seeing Logan as the southern gentleman, the real draw here is the imposing beast that is Sabretooth. 
all the things I said about Logan lacking emotion, the complete opposite is true of Sabretooth. Both the expressive head sculpts capture his psychopathic personality perfectly. You know, a human can go on living for several hours after being decapitated. You're thinking I'm a chicken. What did I say? Sabretooth comes with a right gripping hand, a left hostage taking hand, a right relaxed hand, and a left picking stuff out of your saber tooth hand. Do I have something in my teeth? In most cases, Victor's hands are too big for the cards, but you can ram the cards in between the right gripping hand's fingers to show off his full house. And while we're talking about posing cards with figures they're not necessarily meant to, they do fit nicely in both X-Men 97 Gambit's hands. It wouldn't surprise me if Hasbro packed them in with an alternative Remy without the trench coat. The cards are bigger than the ones that came with his kinetically charged effects, but I always thought they were small. Ah, go sit yourself. Whether he's restrained in a chair or waiting for an internet troll to come home, Sabretooth can go sit himself. And whether he's on a bar stool or playing a game of poker, Logan cannot go sit himself. It's also worth mentioning that Logan fits comfortably on the Ghost Rider motorcycle, even if he is a little bit short and he only has the one gripping hand. Alright, first up we have the other cowboy Logan. Logan. And looking more like a little brother who needs some help with the rent and maybe to do laundry at your place. Here's Sabretooth. Rocking the guitar and the alternative head sculpt, here's Weapon X. Next up, having a reed, being laughed at by Creed, here's Beast. And one of the few times the copy is better than the original, the X-Gene, the Goblin Queen. And lastly, let's just take a look at some of the costumed Wolverines. We have the black and white X-Force costume. Next up from the X-Men 97 series, we have the Tiger Stripe costume. And from some of the more modern comic books, which I'm going to call the Krakoa costume. And from that Love Triangle 3 pack with Scott and Jean, here's another Tiger Stripe costume. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Over the years, Hasbro has released some pretty good two packs. The best ones being rivals from opposing sides. And that's exactly what we get here. A self contained set that's fun even if you don't own any of the Marvel Legends. Looking back at the other Cowboy Logan, or even the Old Man Logan, it's like he's in different stages of undressed. From the hips down, we've seen this figure a few times. Unfortunately, none of the jean sculpts or skin tones match the other releases. You know, in the comics, Sabretooth scales much larger than Hasbro's first offering, but they made up for it with this beastly fella. Comparing them side by side, he looks like his less intimidating younger brother. A crap bigger than you. Being a gritty character, Sabretooth could have done with a manicure, painting the nails and even giving the fur a wash to help bring out some of the sculpted details. Hasbro doesn't always paint on the hands and the arm hair with every Wolverine release, so it's much appreciated they gave Logan the feral treatment. As ugly as the elbows look from certain angles, the range is excellent. Logan can touch his breast pocket to retrieve his trademark cigar, or unbutton his shirt to show off those hairy chesticles. You are hairy like animal! Go baby, very good! Despite having a hinge at the neck, Sabretooth's head doesn't look up as much as you'd like when putting him into crouching poses. And since the wolf scarf covers up the back of the head, taking out a notch would have helped with articulation without taking away from the aesthetics. Check out the short neck mod tutorial by Xcorp on YouTube. But as always, mod at your own risk. <laughs> Out of all the Wolverine 2 packs, this is the one to get. Not because Cowboy Logan is a must have. It's because of the expressive hands and the head sculpts of this Sabretooth brings a lot of character and makes for a fun figure to pose. A great addition to the villain's shelf, this 2 pack is worth picking up even if you don't want the runt with the wonky elbows. Durkin! Bring me that arm! Make sure to like and subscribe Ding! to stay up to date with ya bra. And remember, collect responsibly.
Or not, do whatever the fuck you want, I'm not your keeper.